I've been delivering shopping and prescriptions for Agnes Thorne since the lockdown. She's audible. I didn't volunteer. She bawled at me from her bedroom window. I was out doing me permitted exercise. She shouted down that she'd seen me in uniform and was going to have to take the chance that I wasn't a no-brain, a nonce or a ne'er do well I am none of the above. My uniform is pressed and ready for when I come back from furlough. They don't need so many security guards with most of the students gone. Light fingered graffiti scrawling gits that they are. We didn't draw lots and we weren't asked, but I would have wanted Big Wayne and not so big now Tyrone to have been kept full time from our group. Big Wayne can't stand his missus and Tyrone's in training. He's lost nigh on six stone and he doesn't want to become sedentary and have time to eat half a dozen magnums in 20 minutes which was his record before he joined his mother's slimming club. So yes, I'm furloughed, uh, I'm catnip to pensioners. Agnes Thorne couldn't believe her luck. When I was six, I uh, planted a pip in a pot of dirt. I dug it up every day to see how it was coming along. It wasn't. I uh, never gardened much after that. My mother says that the best tomatoes you could ever eat uh, are found on the tomato plants that grow on the railway tracks out of Solney Hall. She says it's because that's where the London-bound first-class commuters flush their British Rail full English breakfast from the day before. <sighs> it might be natural, but it proper turns me up. I mean, who wants to bite into a Tommy Tart that survived a grilling and been through some hedge fund manager called Jacob? Agnes Thorne has sent me out to buy some tomato plants. Sun goal, not money maker. 16 sachets of casserole for cats, a can of Mr Sheen, a tube of denture fixative cream and some anusol. I never knew it was pronounced like that. I'd only ever seen it written down. I told her I hope she didn't get the two creams mixed up. She looked at me as if I'd said I'd thought Prince Andrew never looked shifty, did a sort of grunt snarl and told me to knock on in the morning in case she needed anything else. <sighs> Meanwhile, other people are using lockdown to kick back and enjoy themselves. Agnes Thorne is really sucking all of the joy out of this global pandemic.